Hey yo, I'm Phil. Welcome to the channel. I do a bit of anime, manga, tech. But yeah, let's get into the video. I've got a short video for you today. I've been requested to do this and I'm glad to do it. I'm going to show you how to update your Samsung Odyssey G7. And also, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll be doing a UFO test, so do not miss that. Remember to like and subscribe. You've been helping me so much. Let's come over here and get this one up updated to get 4K at 144 hertz. Go to your default explore page. Type in your URL. So I will type in samsung.com slash UK alongside with the model number enter and then it shall bring you to the monitor support page scroll right down to the bottom and you will find user manuals devices and upgrade files and it's a usb type file so all you need to do is hit download so that bam click download and it should download straight right here so show in folder the file will download straight to your downloads. It's really not a big file. Plug your USB straight into the computer. Once your USB is plugged in, it should pop up. There's my one. Do not open this file. Do not open it. Do not do nothing. All you need to do is drag it straight to your USB folder like so. Eject your USB safely. Tilt your monitor to the side if you find it easier to plug the USB in. So you've got two USB slots, a USB, and then you just slot it right into the back of the slots, like so. So I plug mine in. USB is in. The red light flashing to show it's plugged in. Once the USB is inserted, you push the middle button underneath the monitor. Push up. Like it's, a to it's like a toggle button, so you could toggle it up and down. So you toggle it right to the top. Click menu, work your way down support, then you go to software update, click software update, and then it will search for the updated files. My monitor is already up to date, and then it will find the software, but it's gonna say the software of the Virgin device is on its latest software. For me, I would not get the update, but for you, the update should happen automatically. Before I log off, let me just give you a look at my black equalizer. So you can adjust the brightness of the dark areas. So right now, mine's on 20. And can you see, this is how the black equalizer looks. It's got black equalizer settings, so everyone who has asked, it has. It also has black leveling. But it also depends on what picture mode you got it on or if you got it on auto. Before I go, let me show you the FPS. But I hope you could get a rough idea of the speeds of the frames per second. I did say, I did promise in my previous video I'll show you guys the UFO test. And here it is. And I could show you the video motion test. This is 30 frames per second versus 144 frames per a second. As you can see, the 144 frames per second is very smooth, no blurring. 120 frames per second versus 144 frames per second. That helps. That's a rough estimate of the monitor's testing. So I hope this helped out in the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you in the next video. And this may just be it for the Samsung monitor for now. Unless I get a video to do the verses with the curved G7. But thank you for watching the video. Peace.